phrase that these are deaths due to Hurricane Maria, you know. It's not due to Hurricane Maria. It, Maria was the catalyst. But if you look at the study, the, 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 the cause of death in so many of the cases, in the, in the largest cause, was the collapse of the healthcare system, which is intimately tied to the collapse of the electricity system, which is intimately tied to the collapse of the water system. So this is really about in total infrastructure failure. Right? And it didn't just fail. A total society doesn't have its infrastructure fail unless you systematically knock out every support structure and you do so knowingly. You know, I'm, I, I keep thinking about this phrase from four decades ago by the great late investigative journalist Rodolfo Walsh, the Argentinian. Uh, kind of inventor of investigative journalist in so many of investigative journalism in so many ways. When he was describing the economic policies of Argentina's military junta, he called it planned misery. And I think that applies so much to what is going on in Puerto Rico right now, that this has been a planned system of immiseration. Maria comes along and is just the final blow. But we, but, you know, I, I keep searching for a phrase to describe this. It's not a natural disaster. It's not just a tragedy. It's state-sponsored mass killing. That's what we're talking about here. Because maybe there wasn't the intent to kill, but there was the knowledge that, this was, that, 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 that the infrastructure was being destroyed. And even after we see the results, the deadly results of it, they're doing it still. And, you know, this, this comes to what, Juan, you're asking me about how this fits into what I've written in the past about disaster capitalism and the shock doctrine. Even after seeing the effects of such brutal austerity and the thousands of lives it has taken, what is the response? More of the same. Huge doses of austerity. 